Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very intriguing topic to discuss. You may have heard the news about the upcoming Matlock reboot featuring Kathy Bates stepping into the iconic role originally portrayed by Andy Griffith, but hold on tight folks because I'm about to explain why I believe this reboot is headed for absolute disaster. So let's start with a little context. Matlock is known for Andy Griffith's exceptional portrayal of the title character Ben Matlock. The show ran for nine seasons and gained a dedicated fan base. Even today there are legions of fans, my old man included, that start their day watching Matlock on MeTV. Andy Griffith's charisma and charm were key to the success of the original series. Kathy Bates, although a talented actress, may struggle just a bit to capture the essence of the character, leading to a disconnect with the audience. So in this new version of Matlock, we meet Madeline Matlock, who after achieving success in her younger years, rejoins the workforce at a prestigious law firm where she uses her unassuming demeanor and wily tactics to win cases and expose corruption from within. If that sounds slightly different than the original version, well, from what I can tell, the only thing that this reboot really seems to have in common with the Andy Griffith classic is the main character's last name and the fact that she's a lawyer. You know, I think the craziest part of the trailer that's currently on YouTube is the moment where Madeline acknowledges that she has the same last name as the character on the old TV show. I'm Madeline Matlock. Yes, Matlock, like the old TV show. If that is the only connection, this show, my friends, is the worst kind of deception. Masquerading as a reboot to attract a particular audience, but really wanting nothing to do with the original show. Now, don't get me wrong. Without a doubt, Kathy Bates is a great actress. Over the years, she's made a name for herself with a number of great roles that often gravitate towards more intense and dramatic characters. However, Matlock... Well, that character is known for his laid-back, folksy charm and quick wit. Kathy's acting style may not naturally align with the light-hearted and charismatic nature of the character. I think it goes without saying that reboots often face an uphill battle when it comes to meeting the expectations of fans who have this strong emotional connection with the original series. Matlock holds a special place in the hearts of many viewers who remember with great fondness Andy Griffith's performance. Deviating from the original formula so dramatically could lead to significant backlash as audiences feel that the essence of the show has been compromised. Whenever a reboot occurs, comparisons to the original are inevitable. And aside from the obligatory gender swap that Hollywood seems to love doing so much these days, the stark differences in the original version of Matlock compared to this, let's just call it Matlock Light, are just, I think, too much to overcome and really hamper this show's ability to succeed on its own. In many ways, this reminds me of another show that aired decades ago called Mrs. Columbo that would have been very successful, I believe, if it had just been called something different. You know, CBS already has a great legal show with some of the same elements of the new version of Matlock in So Help Me Todd. And while Margaret Wright may be a decade or so younger than Maddie Matlock, she is fighting the same uphill battle to be taken seriously as a lawyer and a potential partner of her firm. It's a tremendously fun dramedy starring Marcia Gay Harden and Skylar Austin as her son Todd, a talented but somewhat bumbling private investigator. This show actually scratches my Matlock itch in a way that I suspect the new version of Matlock never will. For those folks who say they don't make anything good on TV anymore, I say watch a few episodes of this series. Another factor to consider is the timing of this reboot. The original Matlock series aired from 1986 to 1995, and its success was greatly influenced by the cultural context of that era. Recreating the same magic decades later may prove challenging. It's probably why significant changes were made to the reboot's premise. It's possible that those involved with this series believe that the themes, the storylines, and even the character of Matlock himself just wouldn't resonate with today's audience. So while I can definitely appreciate 
the idea and the ambition behind a Matlock reboot, all signs lead to a show that is destined to fail. All that said, ultimately, only time will tell if Kathy Bates can make this show a success. I'd love to be wrong, but my first reaction to the recent announcement leads me to believe that the odds are not in this show's favor. All right, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts about the upcoming Matlock reboot and why it might face an uphill battle. Now it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades come by. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.